as one gets older and older, there's three things that happen to your hair. You can get thin, you can get gray, and you can get mm. very, very dry. All three of these things are happening to Matt Hardy right now. <laughs> when you get older, you get floppy. As the oldest one here, I'm sure you can attest to this fact. Uh, actually, no. So. <laughs> so. That's what they all say, Craig, but go ahead, Vinny. Strong like bull, Brian. <laughs> I know the Kip Sabian box gimmick is not technically new, but can I vote for it for worst new gimmick? I want him to tell me why he's wearing a box. And then I want him to fucking get rid of the fucking box. Because, <laughs> like, what are you wearing a fucking box for? Because it doesn't matter what he says, it's going to be bad. Why are you carrying a box? What's with the fucking box? He's uh, in a relationship with Penelope Ford. There's only one box you should be uh, worried about. Craig, please. Wow. God. Damn. I'm not a family friend. You should be wearing a fucking box after that. The other thing of here is that also, this is Dynamite, and Dynamite should not just like, uh, excuse me, this is Rampage. Rampage should not look like Wednesday night, or I'm fucking this all up. (laughs) Why don't you take a deep breath, brother, and start over again? (laughs) I like the different camera angles. That's the only point I was trying to make. So maybe they should get like a different producer to give the show a different kind of feel? Uh, Actually, actually, yes. Maybe they should put the cameras upside down. How about that? You know what they need is black and white. I (laughs) fucking hate you. (laughs) Put him black and white, Jared. Make him look as old and gray as possible. There we go. Excellent. Hey, Jared, can you put Vinny upside down? There we go. This is what's going to make this show better. We're going to review Rampage with Vinny on a different camera angle. Put it in an angle, though, Jared. Like, uh, yeah, add black and white. Now yeah. we're talking. Vinny, can you spike your hair up next week? <laughs> yeah, just put your hair up in a spike. <laughs> we'll, we'll have you doing the show upside down, hanging from the ceiling like a fucking bat. The Vin Man. Who do you think WWE was teasing playing White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane during a commercial break on SmackDown? I hope it's Jefferson Airplane. Hunter S. Thompson. No, probably uh, Bray Wyatt would be my guess. And uh, we're all ready to go here today, right, Jared? Hey, there we are. Look what's back! Do you, do you have a black guy because you're wearing the glasses? Wear the glasses. No. Yeah, we lost video. Anything else going to go wrong? Streaming live soon. Well, that certainly doesn't help now, does it? Should we just start over? Like, what should we do? What's going on here today? Should I just go home? Granny, what is your opinion of medical marijuana? Would you ever use it if it was recommended by, recommended by your doctor? Probably not. I, I will admit I tried it once. <gasps> but did you inhale... I can't remember. All I know is I got It worked! Headache. She can't remember. <laughs> Suggest you inhaled. I think Sonny tried to get us to uh, to try this. Do I, is this correct? Do I remember this correctly? Uh, uh, I don't think it was Sonny's. I was extremely inebriated, yeah. and uh, uh, I definitely didn't inhale. Yeah. I don't even think I could get the thing between my lips, quite frankly. But I That's seem to recall said. that we were, we were pressured. Which Empire member makes you laugh the most? Uh, me. <laughs> Okay. Fair. Gimmick. Listen, I don't like I don't like Dicks. Okay, you know that restaurant. Dicks, Dicks drive in. Yeah, but the people that go to Dicks, they love it, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Craig loves Dicks. Yes. Razor pulls Sean's pants halfway off. Sean jumps on Razor while down. Many. Razor. Yeah, from the office. <laughs> I knew you'd yeah. catch that the minute I said. Well, there it. actually was a restaurant granny named Razor. Okay. Yeah. Well, and besides, these guy, two guys did wrestle a lot together. I just picked one. Madcap versus Solo Saikon. Back and forth across the ring. Solo throwing Madcap across the ring. Solo double fists Madcap on the forehead. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. Then body drops him. Hey, <laughs> what? With a two count, Madcap gives Solo a headbutt. Solo Saikon. Filthy and Killer Kelly. Get some hold on Brian and whatever her name was. Billy. For a double submission. I gave I gave that two p- points. I <laughs> gave it <a> two <laughs> points. <laughs> this crowd was very happy to see Chris Jericho win this Ring of Honor world title, but you know who was not? Is Ian Riccoboni. A cloud of dishonor has enveloped the Ring of Honor championship. I'm flummoxed. And Max Caster's got raps about the Little Mermaid and Cuomo and glory holes. I feel now more strongly than ever that they should have called an audible the pay-per-view because they could not recreate that pay-per-view match. Call Shivani a fat old prick. I'm pretty sure whenever one man calls another man a prick on TV, I'm going to laugh at it. MJF fires back, says Wheeler's in the Blackpool Cuckold Club. That made me laugh. And I am waiting 
for the first dynamite that's not in the state of New York. Because every time I mention, well, you know, they're in New York, people, oh, well, they're in such and such. That's not really New York. No, actually, it is in New York. It's in the fucking state of New York, so it's in New York. No, Brian, Long Island, New York. That's not New York. Even though it's in New York, even though Long Island, New York has New York in it, it's not actually New York. No, it is New York. It's Long Island, New York. Buffalo, New York is Buffalo, New fucking York. No, don't tell me this upstate New York versus Metro. I don't want to hear this shit. Have you talked to anyone who knew who Trina was? Oh, plenty of people know Trina, you boomer. Okay, tell those of us who don't know, who are old and useless and lame. She is the toughest fucking woman in all of wrestling. I'm going to get it on Twitter again. I've already got it once today. For having the temerity to ask for people to stop killing her. New music plays and Soraya makes her debut. The artist formerly known as Paige in World Wrestling Entertainment and... She comes out and the place goes crazy. And everyone, including the wrestlers in the match, just mark out for her for a while. She can wrestle and she's all right and she can do matches and she can win titles. Uh, this could be what they've needed and now they've got it. So we shall see. So MJF is up in that luxury box by himself. He's cradling the magic poker chip like a newborn babe. And they cut to him a lot. He had the most fucking punchable face you've ever seen. Every time they cut to this guy, he just had this face. And it's like, God, look at this fucker. Brian Danielson attempted the same counter that Filthy Tom Lawler did on me when I put him in the rear naked choke. And John Moxley, who was there at my match, countered the counter and choked him out. Mm -hmm. So I take a little personal satisfaction that perhaps my doom... Helped John Moxley to win the AEW Championship. This is a fun show. It was a grand slam. Thumbs up. But uh, I, had, I had high standards. They literally did their uh, uh, one-year anniversary and then threw the logo up. And then the next fucking day, they taped two weeks of show. So it's not like you can you can end on a Tuesday and fucking tear the whole thing down and rebuild it in 12 hours. They had to tape with what they had for the next two weeks. So I think that when they return to being live, it'll be uh, made over. I don't know that for sure, but that's my presumption. A recap of Solo Saikon winning the North American title last week. Solo Saikon. He needs Solo to hand over that belt. And Solo pauses and he looks down at the belt. And Sean says, I've had to do that. I know it sucks. <laughs> yeah. I laughed oh, yeah, so buddy. hard. Axiom versus Nathan Frazier. Do you know what this match was? Great. This match was elegant. They can wrestle every week. I'd be fine with that because these matches are fun. Well, they are wrestling every week because it's a fucking best of three, brah. Well, make it a best of 3,000. The days of you have a gimmick in NXT and you're going to get called to the main roster by a totally different old guy and he's going to make you do something absolutely completely different. Those days are over. Solo Saikon gets called up to the main roster, and you know who he is on the main roster? Solo Saikon. The exact same fucking character that he was in in NXT. But he looks up, and there's Apollo Crews. And his bleeding eyeball. <laughs> Gotta get that thing looked at, buddy. I, I could very easily see them doing some sort of multi-person feud where uh, Braun Breaker ends up losing the title without getting pinned okay. and going up to the main roster. And that's like his exit from NXT. Yeah, that was NXT. Another good show. Yeah, show's better, everybody. Definitely better. I know some of you don't want to hear it, but it's better. <laughs>